Oh, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Hope you're having a great one. Today we're going to go ahead and listen to the track Devil. This is off of the album Winter, released 19. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm so used to saying 19. Let me run the intro. That'd give me my break. Okay, this is the... <laughs> This is from the band New Model Army, off of their album Winter, their 14th studio album released in 2016. This is a favorite track from V Tier. So, V Tier, thank you so much for the recommendation. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I don't believe I've ever heard of this band. Uh, their name doesn't even really look familiar, to be honest. I don't know anything about them. And that's the best way to go ahead and dive on in. So, dive on in, we shall. We'll talk about it a little bit after. The album cover looks kind of cool. I'm assuming, you know, I like to make assumptions. I'm assuming that this is going to be metal of some sort. Like a melodic metal core kind of metal. Not like a, I don't know, black metal. Let's dive into it. Here we go. that effect in the back with those vocals I believe. It's almost like they have a DJ in the back scratching a turntable mixed with some vocals. I love that big haunted riff. Killer drums though. Feels like a wire tur turning and tightening. They took me down to the tree of knowledge and said that I must resist and all I could think was. What kind of stupid joke is this? Not to want to know and feel everything that exists behind the curtain drawn by self appointed controlled bricks. I dare apologies. I never thought I'd praise you so much. Nice build up.
that was a cool like modern rock track i haven't listened to like a ton of modern like stuff like that um that was really cool i like that i like how they build this mood so the track is called devil and there's clearly this haunting kind of sound behind it all so from the guitar riff itself i definitely just hit the microphone sorry uh from the guitar riff itself that's going to be played by justin sullivan who's also in lead vocals as well as uh there's actually a lot of people playing guitar marshall gill who's also doing some percussion and uh dean white so like actually they're all kind of playing different instruments anyways the guitar riff i like that riff ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da. it just kind of has this kind of hellish sound this kind of haunted house sound to it i really like that justin sullivan his vocals i thought were really nice too he has a like a halfway between a gravely and halfway between a rock and roll like kind of sound and i really like that he kind of fits to me into the same not i'm not saying they sound alike i just mean like maybe cut from the same cloth as like the lead singer from typo negative whose name i'm forgetting about steel pete steel if i'm 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 pretty sure or like somewhere in that realm like a tom waits like you know just just fitting into that kind of sound which i really like for the mood that's established here on the track the drums michael dean that was good. I love the use of the kicks and how strong they are, and also how the production on the song actually captures those kicks and gives it a nice impact, a nice little oomph behind it all. That sounds great. The kind of hypnotic back and forth on the bass. Like, that sounds cool. The break was really nice, how they built up some atmosphere. I like what I can only imagine are sampled vocals in the back that kind of sound like they're distorted and, I don't know, there's some something happening with them. To me, it sounded like there were vocals on a vinyl, on like a record, and the DJ back there was kind of manipulating them in some capacity with some other tricks. But either way, it sounded cool. Uh, let's dive into the lyrics, though, huh? And I had to, I couldn't use Genius, so I had to pull up just directly from their site. The world is held in a spider's web of roads. It's easy to go wrong. There are so many crosswords, crossroads, you might just stumble upon. There are voices in my head. There are strangers just waiting there. I lied when I swore that I never knew who I'd been talking to. He said, how do you want it? How do you do? How do you want it to come to you? I imagine he's talking to a little miss, little person called Mr. Devil, perhaps. And so down the stairway, down the hall, past familiar bloodstains on the wall. I double cross myself and find that I'm at an open door. And what a welcome I received, arms around each other. It was hard to tell which one of us was the more pleased. How do you want it? How do you do? So he goes down the hall, meets his own personal Baba Duke. He says, I'm happy to meet you. And apparently the devil's happy to meet you too. So everybody's happy on this one. Because if you look for me, you will find me. So do anything not to be lonely. Or sorry, some do anything not to be lonely. Some do anything just to stay in the game. Some build a wall around themselves and pretend that everything's the same. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me that I'm lovable. Tell me that I'm here at all. So it's a little bit of a, you know, uh, uh, out-of-body experience. Is this really happening? I don't know. You guys hugged each other. So, you know, did you, did you make friendship bracelets for each other too? Please clap. They took me down to the tree of knowledge and said that I must resist. And all I could think was, what kind of stupid joke is this? Not to want to know and feel everything that exists. Behind the curtain drawn by self-appointed control freaks and their apologists. And then there's all this crazy superstitious stuff. Like remembering to take salt for throwing over right hand, left shoulder. While all I could hear was the best tunes playing through the glass. It's strange that what you can understand, but still never really grasp. So he goes down to the, he goes down to the, the basement. There's some supper's ready stuff happening down there. And he says there's all this crazy superstitious stuff when he mentions throwing the salt over your shoulders, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to draw a circle out of it too. As people around you suffer, well, it's easy. People suffer every day. And then you find you're in a trap of your own making. It holds you in its clutch. Because once you've touched the poison, you poison everything you touch. If you look for me, you will find it. So yeah, you could have, of course, the literal story of, you know, like I said, you, you've been pen palling with a mysterious stranger. Oops, it's the devil. Uh, you're like, oh, it's cool. And you go down to the basement. You guys like throw a little party or something. Maybe a little, uh, I don't know, little quinceanera. But with the seance involved, I don't know. You throw a little party down there. Or you could take this probably into a more symbolic route where he says, you find yourself in a trap of your own making. It holds you in its clutch because once you've touched the poison, you poison everything you touch. So it could just be a symbolic of, Finding yourself in a place that you didn't want to be, but you realize through your own actions, you've led yourself to that place. And now you're not only hurting yourself, but others. As he mentions with the whole, you touch the poison and you poison everything you touch. 
Or maybe I'm going too far into it and he's just partying down with the devil. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the track. Let me know in the comments down below. You can support what I do on Patreon for as little as month. You don't have to. Yeah, do I? Thank you so much for being here. Come back tomorrow and I'll see you all later, guys. Bye.